Good morning. So anyway, I had a really good night's sleep at uh, Ace, and uh, and there was a grocery store, natural grocery store. So I went in there and I used the facilities, but I learned about uh, their prices on stuff. I uh, I weighed apples to see how much my apples weighed. Uh, I checked their batteries, but natural food batteries they only had one kind and they were no good so I go into Ace and then this guy walks with me all the way into the back to and stands there and I so I feel like I'm being watched in case I steal batteries and then uh, I get all the way up front and uh, I pay for two double A's with uh, coins, mostly coins, a bunch of pennies, everything else. I go outside and then he, he follows me out there and he says, if I'm asked me if I'm okay, and I say, well, yeah. And then he says, he saw me this morning, which means he saw me in my truck sleeping. And uh, I said, well, yeah, times are tough. And uh, then he pulls these out gives them to me. It was hard not to uh, be moved by that. Yeah. But remember, while I was in the far back, I was looking at the Duracells, he said, I'm not so sure about what you're going to, I was looking at Ace and Duracell and everything, he says, I'm not sure what you're trying to power if you're going to use those Ace batteries. Uh, he was like worried they weren't good enough. And but, and that's what he gave me, but free, so I don't know, that was just too much, too weird, kind of cool, but I've done the same thing, done the same thing, and just yesterday I was thinking, if I had everything that I ever gave away, uh, right now donated or whatever if I have every if I had everything I'd ever given or whatever help I'd given anybody else if I had it all given to me right now I mean it wouldn't really sustain me that long it wouldn't sustain you know like living in a, a three-bedroom house and driving and buying liquor and just everything that I you know did for so long and uh, you know buying a new lawn, new lawnmower when I needed it just all kinds of that stuff I mean it would sustain me living right close to the ground like I am but it would just sustain me for a long long time but if I had everything I ever gave away or donated or whatever money tithing everything given to me right now in one lump sum how much would it be uh, I don't know five thousand ten thousand thirty thousand uh, if you figured in my time I don't know if, if you figured in my time I don't know it might be a hundred thousand dollars but it wouldn't, uh, and then if you just lived off of it, depending on the lifestyle, you could burn up that hundred thousand in maybe two years. Actual cash given away versus help, you know, stopping on the side of the road and giving your time to somebody, whatever. I don't know, it's an interesting concept for me to, and I had a great night last night on the sidewalk. I. I actually had to defend my space because some cop, county cop thing wanted me to move away from the theater and then I said, well, where's your dear jurisdiction? And man, if I had not studied and known just a little bit about the jurisdiction and, and everything else, those guys could have swept me off the street. So he calls the Knoxville. local, you know, city police, and, uh, and the guy started out real nice and everything, just asking me to move over here, 
further away, and I said, well, where's the actual line? And uh, I was polite and everything, and he was polite too, but as soon as I knew what I was talking about, and uh, talking about whether it was a public sidewalk or not, and you know, busking is protected speech. That's what it is. It's protected speech. And somewhere in his mind, he knew that, and he was thinking in terms of, you know, private property and the line and this and that and the theater. Uh, but as soon as I wouldn't just be swept away, then he got pissy and started saying, well, you can s just stay right here. But as soon as I hear a report of you asking somebody for money or begging for money or whatever, you stay here and just play your little kumbaya. And uh, I'm gonna, as soon as I hear one complaint, I'm going to throw your ass in jail. Man. I mean, there's idiots. There are idiots on the force that would just throw your ass in jail and then have to be embarrassed by it, but I I can't really afford, you know, a day in jail or a night in jail and then have my truck, you know, with either $30 worth of parking fees on it or or uh, being towed and, and all my stuff. And they, it was a risk, but you know, taking, taking that discussion right up to the point of sticking up for what was right, man, you just got to got to know where the line is, learn where the line is, but I don't know, maybe the psychology class, see, because you know where the line is with people, but if you're dishonest or whatever, or mean or conniving, you can take a lot of things all the way to the line and of, of what people will put up with, I mean, past the moral uh, respectability line. And up to, you know, even past the legal line of whether what's going to be enforced or what's not going to be enforced. But if all you're... If all you're doing...